My name is Jim Eisenhower and I was a graduate from Grand Junction High School in 1956. Well, we were the first class to come to this new high school and of course everything was spacious. We had a beautiful auditorium where plays became important and students got more involved. Well, one thing I noticed after graduating in 1956, not a lot has changed. My name is Dan Prinster, and I graduated from Grand Junction High School in 1980. In walking through it on the way over, the only thing that's changed are the vending machines. The basic part of the building has not changed. What has changed is, in order to accommodate the growth that's been needed, they've just added on these piecemeal buildings, and so now you've got a very confusing campus. There's not a day that goes by that I don't worry that something catastrophic will happen here. I graduated from high school before Columbine. You know, my son graduated from here and it was a regular discussion of what is your safety plan? There's something like 64 exits in Grand Junction High School, 64 entrances, and so who are you going to get to staff all of that? The best way to address safety is design it in from the start. It's really hard to retrofit safety into an old design, and that's what we've got here at Grand Junction High School. The most critical problem with Grand Junction High School is probably a two-fold problem. First, we have structural issues. We have continual movement between the buildings. There's shifting that goes on, and we have issues with doors, floors, walls, even the brick facade. Um, the, the second critical issue is the in, internal systems, the plumbing in particular, electrical. We have uh, drain pipes fail, we have supply lines fail. And, and it's just uh, like a ticking time bomb as far as, you know, when's the next flood going to happen. We're to the point where we need to keep spending millions and millions of dollars on this building and it's going to continue to be an old, outdated building. I've asked, I can't find a building that was built in the same era that is utilized by nearly 2,000 people a day that's still being used with, for its original purpose. Schools now have to teach different talents that they didn't have to in 1980. You've got to look forward thinking design. You can't just retrofit a 1950 building and think that you're going to educate people for 2020. My name is Michaela Moran. I'm a graduate of Grand Junction High School, class of 2019. Well, students are, of course, the future of our city. Creating amazing people will create a greater future for Grand Junction. My name is Callie Shea. I'm a senior at Grand Junction High School. I think it's a little bit hard to learn in an environment that has things that are crumbling around you. The Grand Junction Symphony plays in our auditorium, not the college's auditorium, Grand Junction High School's auditorium because it's the largest one around. And even that, in the, it's the best that we have to offer, but even that is crumbling. Like that's. Like, that's sad. That this is the center of, for our community. Like, what does that say about our community? The best solution for all of these problems is to get a new Grand Junction High School. To go to a one building format that would allow us to have a single entry and exit that's constantly monitored by adults. There's going to be a higher educated workforce. There's going to be students with real life experience who are coming in. There's going to be businesses that decide to relocate their businesses to, the, to Grand Junction, specifically because of how state-of-the-art this school is going to be. I think the intangible factors of getting a new school would just be being proud to come to something every day that is adding to your learning. 